Hello, I'm Todd Egerling. This is my wife, Kristen, our son, Barrett, and daughter, Lauren. And this is my father-in-law, Lyle Sittler, and mother-in-law, Alice. We'd like to welcome you to Bluestem Valley Farms, and we're hoping you enjoy your little tour of our farm. And we are very pleased to have been recognized as the 2009 Leopold Conservation Award winner. Winning the, the Aldo Leopold Conservation Award is a great honor. Uh, I don't know that, that we necessarily do uh, a lot more than a lot of other farms and ranches in the, in the state. I think some of the things we do are, are innovative and, and uh, because of our proximity to a, uh, a larger city in the state, uh, allowed us to, to get the recognition to, to win this award. I think this award is, is important in getting the proper information out so that everyone sees that private land ownership is really private land stewardship, private conservation. We all do it to some degree and, and I think this award helps bridge that gap so that people see what is actually going on. And in, in the state of Nebraska, where most of the ground is, is uh, privately owned, uh, I think we're doing a great job preserving the property, taking care of things, and, and this award shows people that we don't need uh, uh, public land in order to preserve. I think uh, it, it shows that those things that are, are taking place in other state with, with public land are taking place right here with, with privately owned property uh, on individual farms and ranches in the state. Uh, land stewardship is a very important part of uh, farm and ranch management. I think most people do uh, land stewardship to some degree. Uh, I don't think you're ever satisfied with the amount that you do. Uh, I think there's always room for improvement in everything you do. And I think in today's uh, uh, environment, for us to be able to pass our, our land, our operation, our farm, our ranch, whatever situation you're in, uh, to your, your children, uh, you have to protect it and you have to take care of it. Yeah, I would, I would say that uh, it's extremely important, uh, and it has been on this particular farm uh, for years and years gone by, and that uh, the first thing that you, you do is you take care of what Mother Nature has blessed us with at this particular point in our lives, and it needs to continue on. Uh, so as Todd mentioned, <clears throat> Our ancestry will build a, uh, a bridge and move on into the future. And so we do everything that we can to uh, protect the property and, and keep it in, in good shape or improve the condition uh, so that it's here forever. And I, I think that also helps in bridging the gap uh, when you say, uh, see a neighbor sees some of the things that you're doing. Uh, I think I think you ask a lot of questions back and forth, and you make improvements on on some of those uh, environmental stewardships that you that you practice. And and I think you have to do that in today's society. And I I think for the most part everyone does now. There's been uh, a number of things that have gone on for for years and years, uh, 30, 40 years. Uh, since Lyle's been, been here and, and since I've joined the operation. It started uh, no-till farming years ago. 
uh, when that was just becoming a, a, a thing that people were starting to, to experiment with. And it, it developed with uh, conservation on farm ground to I think the, the most recent large thing that happened was the protection of a 200 acres of tall grass prairie uh, this close to the proximity of a big city here in Nebraska, which is Lincoln. Uh, that's, that was a, a big step in, in, I think, the recognition of this, this award uh, because Tallgrass Prairie in Nebraska is, has become very rare. And, and I think that was a significant step. And from that point forward, we've tried to be uh, innovative in some of the things we've done and have really uh, worked on, on some other uh, projects in the operation uh, that have, have complemented that easement uh, with a uh, vegetative treatment area, uh, livestock feeding area, uh, just in, in protection and, and of, of wildlife and keeping our operation uh, thriving along with all those things I think brought us to this point.